Hi everyone, welcome to week one in um, Introduction to Literature. I'm really excited to get started and to, to work through the reading and writing in this class with you all. Um, I just want to give you a brief overview of what you're supposed to be doing this week. So I clicked on modules and that brought me to the week one assignments. The best thing to do is go into modules and do sort of things like go start from the top and work your way down to the bottom of the module. You'll see that um, for the most part the um, the deadlines go in this order. Uh, not this deadline but the other ones go in that particular order. Um, I tried to set it up so it was logical. The first thing you want to click on is the week one description. Um, so basically this week um, is about getting to know each other a little bit and starting to think about the way we read and we approach um, understanding and explicating different kinds of texts. So um, some goals for this week include um, what to expect in the course, understanding how to navigate through Canvas and through the class, but also understanding how to approach literature, how do you read it, and how can you analyze it from multiple perspectives. Um, here are the tasks that you'll need to do this week, and all of these are set up in the modules. So let's move ahead. Make sure you check out um, your thought of the week, and if you are having issues or struggling or stressed out, come back here, read it again, and, and just spend a little time thinking about it to get yourself centered for the week. The next page is your reading assignments, um, so you want to make sure this is a great place to start. You're going to need this particular article, so you just click on it to go to the link. Um, you're going to need that for the discussion. It's not long, it's just a page, about a page long. Um, then you're going to have some readings from your reading and writing about literature textbook. So it's not a whole lot of pages, but enough. Um, you're going to read and annotate these two things, which will be helpful for your quiz and for your assignments this week. And then just skim this section on criticism and theory, which we'll use for our uh, final assignment this week. Uh, like I said, make sure that you're annotating and taking notes as you're reading. That will be really helpful for your assignments, but also the main reason you do that is to retain information and to engage with the text in a deeper way. All right, the next page is your quiz for this week. You won't have a quiz every week, but sometimes you will. And um, basically, um, it checks your comprehension of the readings from the textbook this week. There are 10 questions, and you have two chances to take the quiz. The highest score that you get, I will keep. Um, so if you don't like your first score, you can take it again. Just try to start early so that you can take it twice before the deadline. Um, you have 45 minutes to take the quiz, so that should also give you time to be able to look through your annotations and readings as you take the quiz. Um, again, this is why it's important to annotate as you read, so it's easier for you to do well on the assessments. The next uh, assignment for the week, this is due on Thursday, is our class discussion. So we're going to get to know each other a little better and also start to talk about uh, reading literature and how that could have an impact on us being smarter and nicer people, which is interesting to think about. So for the conversations, and we'll have discussions every week in this class, so it's a good idea to really pay attention this week about the expectations um, and then moving forward that will serve you well. So in a post, you're going to tell us um, a little about yourself and why you decided to take this class. You're going to explain whether you agree or disagree with this article that you read. Um, then you're going to talk a little bit more about like, if you've ever had an experience like the article discusses. And then you'll end with a response um, that's related to what you posted for your classmates. Um, after you've edited and posted, then between Thursday and Sunday, you'll respond to at least two of your peers' posts so that we're actually having a discussion about this. And this is a really great part of the online class because it's the part where we get to talk to each other and share ideas. So use this and let's make our discussions really great and interesting and engaging this semester. Um, you can check out the guidelines below for the rubric for how I will grade you. The next one is another discussion. So once you get the format down, uh, this one should be good. This one is about the story of an hour, uh, which is on page 89. Uh, I want you to read it twice, annotate it, and then I want you to answer these questions 
they're very sort of personal. There's not a, a right or wrong answer to these questions. It's just sort of um, in, encouraging you to reflect on the story and um, the analysis of it. Same requirements, you post your answers, you post a question, and then between Thursday and Sunday, you respond to at least two people, keep the discussion going. Uh, for this one in particular, and for a lot of the discussions, you won't be able to see what other people post until you've posted your own response. All right, and the last thing of the week is an assignment. So we're still focusing on this story, the story of an hour by Kate Chopin. It's very short. Uh, we will have done a discussion about it, started to put your thoughts down about it. Now what I want you to do is think about it in a more critical way and write a one-page response paper. Um, when I say one page, what I mean by that is that you have writing on the last line of the page, but no writing on to page two. So you have about one line of text to work with. Um, this sounds very rigid. It actually is something a teacher made me do when I was in high school, and I found it to be very valuable to my writing process and my thinking process. So that's why I'm sharing it with you and allowing you to try this approach also. So you're going to, in this response, you're going to explain the story's meaning by looking at it through two of the following critical approaches. So you choose two of the topics and then you write a paragraph on each, right? So one paragraph on, let's say you pick the first two, one paragraph about deconstruction, one paragraph about feminist criticism, okay? Um, when you set up your document, I would like it in MLA format, so this tells you how to uh, set up your page according to MLA format. And um, you'll read about these briefly. This is the part of your reading that I said to skim, but you can like kind of look more specifically at the particular parts. Um, and then it, I have also have like a little bit of a prompt behind each one to help you understand what you're supposed to be saying about the, the story in terms of this lens. The overall goal of this is that you can read one thing and talk about it in so many different ways by looking at it through different lenses. So I want you to start being flexible in this way in your reading. All right, that's all for now. I hope you have a really great week and know that if you need to meet with me or talk to me, I'm available. Just reach out through email. Have a good one.